Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna take a quick look at a software actually officially supposedly from Microsoft. It's called Microsoft PC Manager and can be downloaded either from their site or TechSpot. And I downloaded mine from TechSpot. You just hit download here, wait for it to download, install the XC file, which is something I don't need to show you. And here's the PC Manager. What this one does is what we have been probably looking for for a long time time and we've had you know if you if you remember uh the old pc cleaners from piriform and all that and a lot of times they were kind of suspicious so this one is supposed to be directly from microsoft itself and as you see the theme here looks like windows 11 ish but i don't have windows 11 so i'm not gonna even go there so first of all at home here you can hit boost supposedly it cleans temporary files and all that stuff from the ram and whatnot you can do a pc health check and it will check for any issues that you might have and you can uh, clean up issues that are here reset the taskbar and all that i'm not gonna do it because i know what it is but in your case if you have a problem with it you can try that and next one is the processes that you have going on right now as you see i only have these processes but i know what they are so i'm not uh i don't have a problem with it but in your case for example you might have a process you don't recognize or a process that's taking too much of your resources and somehow on task manager you don't see it you come here and you give it an end now besides that we have a deep cleanup right here it goes through your system with thumbnail cache temporary titles and all that good stuff you hit proceed and all of them will be gone in my case i don't have many because i keep doing it manually a million times a day and here is the startup apps in my case i turn off almost all of them except for a few that i use daily and you can just turn on and off whichever you like here now you will go to the storage and that is my biggest thing here phones already either apple or android have this feature right here here you can do a deep cleanup before we get into that and it will show you all these files i already did that but i'm gonna do it again it's not gonna hurt anybody here are the downloaded files and in my case i got rid of them but you go here to the large files and it will scan your c drive and as you see right here for example i have a few videos that are into gigabytes most of them are just videos from filmora uh from its uh proxy folder that kind of saves a copy of it while you're doing the video i already have copies on my backup drive but in most cases you will see your hard drive i have only 147 uh gigabytes free now that is not great here is where the files are and if you put the cursor just hovering over the path it will say, say where the path is and as you see there it's on the warnershare filmora media proxy i'm already done with those videos and i'm gonna go through all of them that say media proxy as you see right here all of them media proxy and i do not need any of them as you see here all media proxy i'm gonna delete all these here and i'm gonna go through all the media proxy files let me see if we have more as you see here there's probably more and more of them but i'm just gonna go through a few gigabytes of them that i know i have copies of and they are no longer needed to be on the media proxy so now i'm gonna hit permanently delete them it uh, permanently delete here and it says 26 files were deleted successfully freed up 77 gigabytes of drive space now that is a lot now from 147 let's see if it freed now we have 225 gigs on our uh, m.2 and if i go here there's probably much more as you see here from uh media proxy that are not really needed to be on my drive anymore and i'm just gonna go get rid of them you can also do this manually by going to the folder and all that good stuff that is not exactly the only way to do it but in my case since we are reviewing the software we're gonna do it this way 4.8 now as you see 225 we have 229 now as you see it was not taken by software or whatever you might think it's on the desktop and all that it was actually taken by proxy files from the video editor here you can uh, put if you want files bigger than a gigabyte uh, you can change them to documents pictures compressed folders and whatnot that you would like to check on your computer and as well you can go to the other drives 
you don't necessarily get stuck only in one you can go to other drives and check the biggest files but make sure you are deleting only files that you can handle to delete and that is a beautiful feature to have in computers finally from an official source like microsoft itself now you have storage sense this one is uh, just a settings shortcut that you can do yourself i'm not gonna go too deep into that with the auto deletion uh, deletion of temporary files and all that here is the process management that as we said before you can manage apps it will go just to the apps you have installed and you can uninstall that's more of a shortcut microsoft store itself and here's a toolbox you can take screenshots screenshot a folder start recording you can show toolbar on the desktop if you want as you see it stays here so you can quickly boost quickly take a screenshot for example you can leave it here let's see on the side and it will auto hide itself boom that's easy and you can put it i guess on the top too but here would interfere probably with the windows so i would leave it right here as you see that's actually very useful you click it boom and supposedly you have better ram because it got rid of stuff now you have notepad calculator these are all shortcuts bing translator currency you can add links to other stuff that you might want and here are just your personal se settings you can do smart boost which will automatically boost your pc when high usage of ram or there are one gigs of temporary files are over you will automatically get rid of them and you have other general settings you have uh, early access to the beta versions auto update pc manager and all the beautiful stuff and here's the protection that you could check for uh, updates for example if some updates are not showing up on your regular windows updater like in my case there was a bluetooth module update and actually this one somehow showed that update and here's the virus definitions that i did not even know i had an update for and i'm gonna hit update on them now this is in my opinion a really nice and clean tiny piece of software that you can use and you know it's officially from microsoft itself and here you can uh, do browser protection I already am protected because I use malware bytes. Taskbar repair if you have if you're having a problem with a search box and all that. I don't know I don't need none of that. But if you want to get them back, you can do it. And you can restore default apps for documents, for PDF files, and for music, for audio, and all that. That you can do as well at the settings. But now you have them right to your app. And with that said. I will leave a link in the description for this app and you can go take a look check it for yourself leave your thoughts and comments on the comment section below and please like and subscribe we will see you very soon bye